Amazing Grace. Hi everyone, I don't know if you guys can hear me because it's raining cats, dogs, elephants, lions, buffaloes, snakes, frogs, insects. It's raining heavily, you guys. I hope you guys are listening to me. Otherwise, my name is Amito Mitra and I am speaking right from Uganda, Kampala, East Africa. I hope you guys are doing great and I hope that God is protecting all of you. For those of you watching me for the very first time, you're most welcome. Kindly be a part of this very beautiful, humble and amazing family by subscribing to my channel and also make it a point to like this video and all other videos that you'll come across on this channel, okay? Do you know that we have the Uganda Bloggers Association? Yes, this is the page. Go to the Uganda Bloggers Association page on Facebook and like it. We are all about good vibes. We talk about Uganda and everything happening within Uganda. If there is anything you, know, you want to know about Uganda, go to that page. It will be there. Any breaking news about Uganda, anything latest, like everything about Uganda is on that page. So go look out for Uganda Bloggers Association, like the page and be updated about everything going on in this country. And by the way, if you have a business and you want it advertised, you want it to go viral, you want every, every Ugandan to know about it, kindly contact the Bloggers Association and they'll make it viral for you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are out there and you're looking for a place that can do the best facial massage, full body massage, chest massage. Hey, I know you guys love the chest massage. I for one love it and I know so many of you people love it as well. So you're looking for a place that can give you the best massage in Kampala. You're looking for a place that can give you the best steam bath, you know, the best sauna. <laughs> hey, look no further. Go to Spamania Kampala. They have a branch at Freedom City Mall. They have another branch at Ntsinda Kisasi Road. So just go there and get yourself the best of what they offer. And for those of you who need discounts, kindly use the Uganda Bloggers Association code. Just tell them you have been sent by the Uganda Bloggers Association and trust me, you'll get the best discount ever. I can't wait to see you guys there and see your beautiful pictures at Spamania, Uganda. By the way, don't forget to check them out on Instagram and Facebook. I love you guys. Let's continue with the video. So this is 27. It doesn't matter what I've been through. I should go out too, but I still act like I'm 11. I'm not emotionally sound since I left you. And no, I don't like to be the bad guy. So guys, um, like you've seen, the weather is just not good at all. It's too too cold for me, but we need to work, okay? I'd forgotten that my mask was on. <laughs> So um, today is a uh, weekend, today is a Saturday and like I told you guys in the previous video, you, you G Beyond and I are working on something just for all of you. We are trying to take you guys to these um, restaurants and hotels and apartments that you guys only dream of. Like. Okay, not all of you, of course, but there are some people out there who just think these places are for the rich, these places are for only people with money. So we are here to take you around these places and show you everything that you need to know. So today, I am going to speak apartments, Wampeo Avenue. For those of you who don't know where it is, it is just opposite Hotel Africana. Uh, Ginger Road, you know where the Airtel roundabout is? Aha, uh -huh. so you, you take right from from town i mean left when you're coming from town you take left and then you go straight up so that's where we are going and uh, i'll be showing you everything you guys need to know currently allow me be on this journey i'll get back to you guys when i am at peak apartments one pill see you guys later so guys i came to pick my friend at our place because she has to be my camera person i can't do this alone Yangua Holude wo to twin a wood day. Jangun Katukuria one, Jangu. It's open. Ah, Jango Yang, get over the gains. Young could be there from inside. Took enough on a jam. 
you can have a jam, it's open, we've opened jam, you come and just enter. Ah, ah. Manang, this girl. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, this is my friend Sharon. Sharon, say hi. Hi, hi uh -huh. guys. So you guys, uh, you should always come here and support her at this washing bay. This washing bay is just immediately after Papa's. For those of you who stay in March India or who use March India, so you just come. It is, it is just opposite Lanster Hotel, right? Yeah. Yeah. Lanster Hotel. Immediately after Papa's. Please come and support my friends. Please. Please. <laughs> please. Okay? She's, she's the, the brain behind all these videos. I know she's always behind the camera trying to make sure that you guys watch the real content that you subscribe for. Otherwise, let's get going. See you guys later. What I've been through, I should go out to. But I still act like I'm 11 I'm not emotionally sound since I left you And no, I don't like to be the bad guy I won't be surprised if I'm the last one now But I had you where I wanted you, never had to ask I'd set the world on fire just to get it back I don't know how it feels to be someone you love and it gets me down 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 yeah i had you where i wanted you never had to ask i'd set the world on fire just to get it back don't know how it feels to be someone you love and it gets me down i let it slip so much Start the music, kill the silence Let my mind rest Pour a drink cause it's effective Can't seem to get my head around Why I left you And no, I don't like to be the bad guy You know I don't lie I really miss you now But I had you where I wanted you Never had to ask I'd set the world on fire So guys, as you've seen, I'm already at Speak Apartments, La Cabana, and this is one of the restaurant balcony views. Quite beautiful. So guys, this is the pool area. This is the pool area. Unfortunately, it's rained, so there are very few people around, as you can see. the end of the weekend but i still wanna turn up yeah i still wanna turn up all i want is to go again but you ain't picking your phone up why are you messing my head up any night any day let me take you away all i need is just saying yeah 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 better nights better days when you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wonder Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me When I need you most So guys, we are finally at Peak Apartments This restaurant is called La Cabana So I'm yet to show you guys the menu The menu is just before me I'm going to show you how the menu looks like Um... I haven't opened it yet, but let me open it for all of us to watch at the same time. So guys, I noticed that these guys have three cuisines. Uh, there is that Indian and Chinese cuisine. 
then there is the Brazilian cuisine and then the other one is the continental cuisine so the menu does have the three as well now this is the Indian cuisine and these are these are the these are the the options for the Indian cuisine quite not expensive quite affordable Kale. as you guys can see I think the most expensive thing on this menu is um, the tandoori whole chicken which is 70,000 half chicken is 42,000 the rest are 42 mm, is there anything else that is expensive let me see let me see um, let me check this other side aha uh -huh, this is the main course these are all affordable 41 41 33 so I think you guys have an idea of what you can get yourself when you come around anything that suits your pockets if you want the Indian cuisine let's go to the next uh, the Brazilian cuisine where is it I think this one okay this is a authentic Brazilian menu this is a Brazilian cuisine cuisine and I think this is the most expensive because you see it has meals worth 125,075 I think this is the most expensive cuisine so guys this is the continental cuisine um, it's also affordable I've not seen any let me see let me see let me see I, I don't I've not seen anything above 70,000 on this continental cuisine let's check this other side and see um, Let's check and see okay it's quite affordable as well oh my god we have the jumbo prawns 106,000 for people who love seafood there you go 160,000 and 6,000 sorry for the prawns so guys that's the menu hey I didn't show you the drinks menu the drinks menu let's open it together yep I think you guys can see I'll not say so much for this menu I think you guys can see Wow wine by glass wine by glass 125,000 Wow a glass of this wine is 125,000 hey now wow now wow so there we go guys what haven't I shown you guys? Your beers are there. Um, your soft drinks are there. Kids' drinks are there. What haven't I showed you guys? Hmm? Okay. I think it's time for me to order my food. Order for my food, guys. The beauty about the Cabana restaurant is that they have this open kitchen like you people can see right about now. Now, the good thing about this is that um, it encourages hygiene because at the end of it all, the chef knows that we are all watching. All the chefs know that we are all watching. I'm going to place my order, give it to the waiter or the waitress, and then this person is going to go talk to the chef who is responsible for my order. And this side, I'm going to be monitoring this, that same chef because I'm watching what is going on. So this is going to encourage them to be very, very clean and hands-on, okay? So that is what I love about this restaurant. So guys, finally, we have settled with our orders. I'm going to have chicken. Um, chicken drumsticks is it? Yeah. chicken drumsticks is coming with fries and uh, salads and then my friend is having peri peri pork yeah uh, it's coming with rice right rice and chips rice and chips uh, both of them chips. okay so both rice and chips and guess what guys we are here waiting for our orders we also ordered for tea african tea spice and um because it's a, i don't know every time i'm doing these videos it's always cold kampala is very very cold lately it's raining cats and dogs 
So the reason why I'm going to take something else when there is tea as an option. So let's wait for our orders and I'll be getting back to you guys immediately. Just give it up. I'm not your girl and I never will be. Don't call me up. Don't waste your time because I'll be your enemy. If you want love, look somewhere else. He'll find nothing. Just give it up. I'm not your girl because I only love. Sharon and I enjoyed our dinner but then there are a few things I need to let you guys know about um, now one, I'm going to start with the disadvantages okay uh, what disappointed me the most was that on top of the bill I have to pay an extra 5% service charge I for one feel like if you go to a restaurant or a hotel let them give you the exact price you're supposed to pay I wouldn't mind paying a hundred thousand for something knowing that everything is inclusive of that a hundred thousand but I don't want you to show me a hundred thousand and in turn when I am paying the bill you're making me pay 110,000 you understand so I mean we are Ugandans we are we are not like those other you know countries that are doing so well whereby someone is going to pay that separately from the bill no 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 I'm just requesting if there is anyone from speak apartments watching my video i'm thinking this is something you should do for ugandans just put the bill there let people know that okay i'm going to eat something that is worth seventy thousand, and that is it that is what i am going to pay for don't let someone because some people don't have the time to, to to read beneath the menu and know those other terms and conditions that you put there you understand some mm. people just want to go and check the menu and know that this is what I want to eat and it is 70,000 and I'm supposed to pay 70,000 for it but if you give me something at 70,000 and then in turn I have to pay sorry for the noise if you give me something at 70,000 and at the end of it all you want me to pay 80,000 for the same thing then I don't understand so the things of adding service charges manya vat blah 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 kindly 
do away with them in Kampala. Otherwise, in the long run, it's going to be really hard for some Ugandans to cope up. Otherwise, the food was lovely. I love the fact that they have an open kitchen. Yes because at least you, you you see the cleanliness going on you order for something and you see them preparing it that mm -hmm. is that is good because at, at the end of it all there's, there's nothing like a rat has fallen in the milkshake you know because you're seeing everything going on so you'll know that whatever you're eating is clean and has been made in in, in your presence you understand that then secondly i appreciate their food their food is delicious you guys it's so delicious However much it's small, I didn't talk about the disadvantages. I didn't talk about this and the disadvantages. The food is little. Speak apartments. Your food is little. Eh, the food is so, so little. I'm, I'm, I'm just requesting, eh, if anyone from Speak Apartments is watching my video, kindly increase call the caposho. Eh? That food is so... But then I saw my chips and I was like, eh, are these the chips I'm going to eat really? Help us and increase the food portion. Yeah. Talk about the dress code. These guys eh, know how to dress. I mean, I saw a waitress. I mean, a waiter putting on a suit. You see how some people dress dress up on their wedding days? It's how those waiters dress up. Oh my God. Where do you guys get the kamane? <laughs> anyway, I love the way the waiters and waitresses were dressing up. I mean, it's it's really corporate. Eh? It it makes you feel so in place. Yeah, they are so clean and smart. And then what else do you guys need to know customer about? Care. Oh, the customer care is top notch. And to give shout out to uh, Julius. Yeah, he, he served us so well. He was so good. Like everything I wanted to know about the place, he was willing to give me the information. Thank you so much, Julius. Shout out to Simon as well. He was like the, the smartest uh, uh, waiter. Is he a waiter? Yeah, a waiter. Yeah, he was like the smartest guy. Simon, thank you for also treating us well. And then the lady was called um, Jessica. Jessica. May, may God make. May God bless them. No. May the management increase your salaries. <laughs> Guys, uh, today was one of the best reviews I had. I, I really had fun doing this today and um, I'm really grateful and I have to thank UG Beyond because he is the reason I go out there and eat all that food and show you all those things because UG Beyond sends me the money imagine this guy is out of the country but he makes sure he sends me money to go and review a place for all of you guys so thank you so much UG Beyond everyone out there kindly make sure that you like his page and uh, interact participate and be a part of the UG Beyond family. I enjoyed my food. I enjoyed the place. I enjoyed everything about the place. There is no restriction. Nothing like don't take a picture. Nothing like don't take a video. Nothing like Zimanya what? All those restrictions are not there. If you go to La Cabana, speak apartments, you're very free to do whatever you want as long as it's not breaking the law. Otherwise, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. Amazing grace.